Welcome Sagittarius, this is your mid-month tarot forecast for December 2023. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself, what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel. There is a competition running again this month, so if you want to go into the draw to win this uh, beautiful uh, pendant, it's got a stone pendant on the end, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, pop a comment down below and you'll go into the prize draw. There's also a personal reading up for grabs with me. I'll be looking for a very positive community member. Also, just let me know in the comments down below you want to win that prize. Uh, now, the winners for last month have yet to claim their prize. So the winner of the wrap bracelet was Kate Elson and the winner of the personal reading was Nicolette Nemdali. So both of you need to get in touch via email, which is in the description box below to claim your prize. All right, let's dive in, Saji. So we're going to pull you an opening energy from the wisdom of the hidden realms, Oracle. Oh, this is beautiful. It's one of my favorite cards in this deck. Wait till you see it. You pulled the Eagle King. Have a look at him. <laughs> oh, he's so gorgeous. All right. It's all about seeing the big picture and getting angelic help. Let's pull you up the guidance. Oh, open straight up to it. Super important message. It says the Eagle King is a sign that your highest destiny is within reach. You're on the right path now, even if you can't see where you're going. The Eagle King soars high above the mountains and valleys of life and is able to see the big picture when you seem to be lost in a bit of a fog. He makes a formidable ally as he takes your prayers towards the sun and releases them to the divine. They will be answered for the highest good of all. It is a fortunate omen when the Eagle King decides to be your ally. Wow, some very powerful help from the universe. Mm -hmm. Oh, put those intentions out there. Ask for what you need. All right, let's have a look at predictions with the Angel Wisdom Tarot. First up, let's have a look at the situation, Saji. Clear guidance. Now, you've got the three of Earth, which is doing what you love, focusing on what you love, what you're passionate about, what brings you joy. Let's see if there's anything challenging you right now. Okay, you've got the eight of air. So feeling stuck, procrastinating, a state of illusion. So if you're wanting to do something you love, then you've just got to take the mask off and release yourself because you can do anything you want, Spirit saying. Let's have a look at the basis of the situation. Well, we see you've got the world at your feet, so you can do anything. You're limitless. Uh, closing out a cycle, it can also represent that, starting a new chapter in your life. Expansion, travel. A lot of coin there. All right, let's have a look at the recent past. In the recent past, you've got the Six of Water or the Six of Cups. So possibly somebody returning to you from the past, looking backwards at things that possibly haven't worked out. Uh, you've also got the ability to partner up with others. So the Two of Fire. So there may have been an opportunity that came in for you to partner up with others. Now, if that energy has not yet come through, it, we always have divine timing going on, right? So which means that the universe is waiting for us to be ready. Let's have a look at the present moment. Oh, these two want to fly out. Okay, got a time of great sadness. So some loss going on. You may have physically lost someone from this world. And you've got the Queen of Earth, so we're not going to be gender-based here. So focusing on your coin, your financial security, stability, your home. Any guidance on this time of sadness? Mm, cards are flying out. Okay. It's interesting. There's a couple here. The male energy is emotionally unavailable and the female energy is in touch with her emotions and her higher self. So perhaps there was a relationship that was emotionally unfulfilling where it didn't matter what you did, you couldn't get the masculine to open up. Mm -hmm. It's a message for some of you specifically. All right, let's have a look at the near future. you got the page of air. So there could be some challenging information coming in. There are a lot of butterflies, so it can be something that's going to help you move forward. And you've got the King of Earth, so a time of great success, financial success, prosperity, having the Midas touch. There's also a divine pair coming out here, which are totally matched. Let's have a look at your energy, Sanchez. Mm. 
Yeah, you've got to release something. So whatever no longer serves you, anything holding you back, you've got to release it. Spirit saying, don't hold on to the energy of it. Oh, yeah, because you've got the two of cups coming in, a mutual love. It can be overcoming challenges with someone, but it can be a new love where it's going to be just totally you're both into each other. And there's a beautiful home in the background. It's going to be a committed partnership. So Cupid's arrow, there's a little angel above representing Cupid's arrow. Let's have a look at the energies of others. Oh, we've got the eight of it. So working really hard on the coin. So you may be connecting with someone who's working hard on their coin. Oh, yeah. And you've got the page of water or the page of cups. So someone with their cup overflowing, a love offering. Uh -huh. Yep. Let's have a look at your hopes and fears. Oh, you've got the page of fire. There's an amazing opportunity coming in directly aligned with your creativity and your passions. Let's have a look at the outcome. Mm, you got the three of five, your ship's coming in. So done a lot of hard work. Some of the financial rewards of that coming in, a new opportunity coming in, you can't even see that's coming in behind you. All right, let's pull you some clarifiers with the news tarot. Firstly, let's have a look at you doing what you love, possibly in a bit of a state of feeling stuck or procrastination. Mm, Spirit saying follow those inspired ideas. You've got some great ideas within you. Let's have a look at this uh, present moment where you're focusing on your coin and your financial security and stability. Time of sadness, a time of loss, possibly have connected with someone in a relationship that was emotionally unavailable. Mm, Spirit saying connect with your friendships. It's going to be super important right now. Let's have a look at the near future where there might be some challenging information coming in, but there's going to be some beautiful financial success. Mm, it's time to take a brand new leap of faith, yeah? Brand new, fresh start in your life. Let's have a look at your energy where there's something you need to release and there's this mutual love coming in. That wants to fly out. Okay, you've got the two of materials, so you're juggling a lot when it comes to your work and your life. Very busy, or they are. Okay, you got the eight of voices. Watch over thinking things with new connections. Not going to be the same as the past energy. Mm, you've got to get into this watery energy, so this place of balance. So no matter what you've been through, you've got to release the past and bring yourself back into the balance. Back into balance. Whatever that was didn't serve your path, right? Um, you've travelled as far as you were meant to travel together. There is a new love here, but if you're imbalanced, you're going to repel it, right? Because you'll be triggered. Bring yourself into balance. It's a beautiful love. Let's have a look at the energies around you where somebody's working really hard and there's somebody's cups overflowing. <laughs> love. Mm, yeah, you've got the night of voice. The spirit's saying you've got to rise above challenges. Mm -hmm. Even if, you know, it's about both of you mutually working together and finding time to spend with each other. Again, the ace of inspiration. It's almost like you're both mirroring each other, working on your inspired ideas. Let's have a look at the outcome where your ships are coming in. Oh. You've got the world at your feet. You can do anything. So um, you pulled the world twice in your reading. Two different decks, you pulled the world twice. Time of expansion, growth. You've got the tenor voices, feeling like you've been stabbed through multiple times, darling. Even though you've got this going on, this is lying underneath. Emotionally, you've got to release it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick it there. Got to release it. And you've got to come into the ace of emotion. So once you release it, you're going to have a brand new perspective on life. You're going to feel cleansed again when it comes to your emotions. You need to do some healing and release work. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the nature's whispers. All right, come firstly in the center, doing something you love. Mm, again, third message, a time of expansion. Mm -hmm. A lot of growth going on, particularly with your ideas. Well, let's have a look at the present where you've had this issue go on here that's been challenging. Well, you've got culmination of visions. So everything's coming together for you, particularly in relation to your coin. Mm -hmm. Have a look at this new love over here where you need to release what you've been through. Well, you've got to celebrate differences. So whoever's coming in is going to be quite different to you. So don't try and mould somebody into what you think they should be, right? You've got to be a bit more open. Mm. 
And don't be afraid to express your own individuality. You've got to catch your breath. So watch jumping straight into something else. You've got to take some time for self. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's pull you some guidance from the Enchanted Map Oracle. Oh, you've pulled storm fields. No wonder that's there. Oh, there's a big tornado brewing in the background. It is number nine. Again, represents cycle completions. Let's pull you up the guidance. Oh, yeah. It says Sagittarius. This shall soon pass, right? An uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things that you've left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Pent up energy needs release, just as a storm in nature must break. For these events to occur when the electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates temporary disorder. Not all storms are destructive, rather they serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seeds to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensured. Just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside you or between you and another will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to shake things up a little. So everything's, whatever's happening is asking for you to grow. Mm -hmm. To open up to more. To open up to what you deserve, darling. Particularly in love. And there's a beautiful opportunity coming in. All right, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below on how this reading resonated for you. Uh, do go and check out your star sign, coffee mugs, journals, task plan. It's all designed by moi. You can find them in my Elysium Gallery website as well as link to this video. Do come and join us for the lives. This week we're doing one on finding your life purpose, Fridays, 10 a.m. Perth time, Sydney, 1 p.m. In the U.S., it'll be your Thursday but um, between 5 p.m. onwards into evening. Yeah, Check world time, buddy. I'll link it in here so you get notified. All right, my loves, take it easy for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.